In winter's deepest night, we welcome the light of the Christ child. Isaiah declares that the light of the long-promised king will illumine the world and bring endless peace and justice. Paul reminds us that the grace of God through Jesus Christ brings salvation to all people. The angels declare that Jesus' birth is good and joyful news for everyone, including the lowly shepherds. Filled with the light that shines in our lives, we go forth to share the light of Christ with the whole world. Our opening hymn is, O Come All Ye Faithful. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined, have beheld Christ's glory, glory as the only Son from the Father. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. May the grace and truth of Christ be with you. Our first reading is from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on this day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramp, tramping warriors 
and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Let us pray. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence, and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your only Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our next hymn is O Little Town of Bethlehem. The second reading is taken from Titus, chapter 2, verse 11 through 14. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and of the, in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Our next hymn is Hark the Herald Angels Sing.
our third reading comes from Luke chapter 2. In those days a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world shall be registered. This was the first registration and was taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Our next hymn is Away in the Manger. Our fourth reading comes from Luke, chapter 2, starting with the eighth verse. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had been told, what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Go tell it on the mountain.
Grace to you and peace from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Merry Christmas. On this time, on this night, we come with awe and wonder. We hear the promise of the Messiah to come through the prophet Isaiah. We hear Luke's telling of the birth of a savior, a king, long promised, long awaited. Now this Messiah, this king is not born in a palace in Rome, nor is he born in the palaces of Jerusalem and Judea. This king was born in Bethlehem, the city of David, and laid in a feeding trough for animals. A very simple beginning, a very humble birth that goes unnoticed by the world. And then, in a remote field in the middle of the night, an angel appears to some shepherds, keeping watch over their fleet, their sheep. That night, the angels come announcing the birth of a savior, a king in Bethlehem. And this announcement was not made in the temple or the synagogue or the halls of power, but in a dark field to lowly shepherds doing their ordinary tasks, their daily routine, keeping watch over their sheep by night. And suddenly the heavens open up. An angel bursts into the scene. There is bright light. The angels burst into song praising God. The heavenly host comes. The heavenly host, the armies of God, cannot keep quiet. What a wondrous thing God has done this night. Heaven meets earth as the angels proclaim the good news of the birth of the Christ child. A birth that takes far, far, happens far, far away from the halls of power. How would you respond to such a message? A little frightened? A little apprehensive? Maybe think about it for a while? We don't know what the shepherds did between, but what they finally did was they get up, got up and went. For the angels had appeared to them, and they had to go and see if what the angels said was true. And they arrive in Bethlehem and find the child lying in a manger, just as the angel has said, with his parents in an inn, lying with animals. And they go on to proclaim to anyone who was listen, here's what the angel said and here's what we found. It's all true. Mary hears the words of the shepherds and she ponders, <laughs> ponders all these things that have happened. The angel Gabriel came as a messenger from God telling her that she is favored and that she would give birth to a child. She goes, Mary goes, to her cousin Elizabeth, who upon seeing the child has the child in her womb leap for joy. And full of the Holy Spirit, Elizabeth recognizes that Mary has found favor with God. God is doing something in the world. And now we meet the shepherds with a message of a babe born a savior, the Messiah in Bethlehem. So many things to ponder. What is happening in this world? On this night, we too take a moment to pause from our busy schedules 
and to ponder what is God doing in our world. All these things that God is doing around us, where is God? Take a moment, ponder, think about it. We pause now to recognize where God is showing up in the world today. We pause this night to reflect in our personal lives, where is God? We ponder not to solve the world's problems, for we can't do that. But rather we ponder, we take time to look for God in the world. God is at work in the world today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Where is God today? Right here, right now. God entered the world, not in the halls of power, not as royalty. God entered the world through a young, poor peasant woman, a girl, really, in a small, overlooked city. And heaven and earth met on this night in a field far from the city to announce the birth of the Messiah to lowly shepherds doing their everyday tasks. God found favor with all flesh, all people that night. God finds favor with us today in the midst of our everyday lives, in the midst of our going about our everyday tasks, much as Mary did, much as the shepherds did. God found them where they were at. God favors you just as he favored the shepherds and Mary. In our darkness and our pain and our joy this night, for we come with all of that on this night, we've suffered loss, we've suffered illness, we've suffered joy. And I say that because sometimes joy is painful too, right? Sometimes joy hurts. But in all of that, God is with us in this darkness on this night as we light the candles and sing Silent Night. We feel God's presence with us. For God finds favor with us. God found favor with the shepherds and with Mary and all creation that night. God's creatures and creation long to be in relationship with God and God longs to be in relationship with each of us. God longs to be with you, that you might know God and love God. That is the message this night. That is the simple message. God loves you and finds favor with you. Go and tell the world in song and praise. God has found favor with the world. Let us rejoice and be glad. Amen. We'll now have special music. A song, a song, high above the 
tree with a voice as big as a sea with a voice as big as the sea said the shepherd boy to the mighty king do you know what i know in your palace war mighty king do you know what i know a child a child shivers in the cold let us bring him silver and gold let us bring him silver and gold said the king to the people child the child sleeping in the night he will bring us goodness and light he will bring us goodness and light bring us Just a reminder that our offer offering is in the back. If you didn't leave your offering when you came, we thank you. We're leaving you an offering, and when you leave, if you could leave your offering back there, we would appreciate it. Our offertory hymn is What Child Is This? And we missed getting it in the bulletin, but I think we all know the first verse. So... The Lord be with you. Lift up your heads. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Holy God, creator of all and source of life, at the birth of time your word brought, into, brought light into the world. In the fullness of time you sent your word, born of Mary, to shine in our darkness and to make your daughters and sons in the night in which he was betrayed our lord jesus took bread gave thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body given for you do this in remembrance of me again after supper he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying this cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. 
remembering therefore his birth and life among us, his death and resurrection, we await his coming again with all thing, when all things will be restored in him. By your spirit, bless us in this bread and cup that held and nourished by you, we may live as your children, shining with the light of your Son. Through him all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Let us pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In Christ's manger, at Christ's table, come, see what God makes known for you. For communion, we thank you, wondrous God, for Jesus, God with us. In these gifts of bread and wine, we have shared this feast of love. Strengthen us to share your love with all the world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We will now light the candles, and just a reminder, never tip a burning candle. Tip an unburnt candle to light your candle. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Let us pray. Glory to God in the highest. And peace Blessed are you, Prince of Peace. You rule the earth with truth and justice. Blessed are you, wonderful counselor. You enlighten the heart with steadfast love. Blessed are you, Emmanuel. You promise to be with us even to the end of the age. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Son of Mary. You share our humanity. Blessed are you, Son of God. You dwell among us as the Word made flesh. We will sing Silent Night. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. You may blow out your candles as we sing joy to the world. Nature saying, and nature. 
in peace, sharing the good news of the Savior's birth. Thanks be to God.